Welcome, Coach Ken here. Look, we're doing something very simple. It's going to be a series of videos that are super basic, geared towards beginners. All right. And today's topic is the armbar from Close Guard. All right. Let's get right into it because I want to talk about it in a kind of different way. So we're in Close Guard, and like we have objectives that must be reached. Like the first objective would be to put the arm in a position where we can attack it. So I call this, a, you know, it's a general concept, the strike zone. For it's broadly applicable for any kind of attack. For the armbar, generally the strike zone is elbow at the center line or across the center line. And how we get there can vary based on like different grip structures um, and you know different tactics. But we just want to approach it from what's the other objectives and like hyper focus on that idea. Because if you understand the objective, you can figure out the methods of you know, achieving them, right? So, like, first objective would be to get the elbow to the center line or pass it, right? Of course, I want to control this arm and keep it in this strike zone because, you know, when I start moving to the next step in the progression, he's going to be, of course, trying to defend. So, we think about it. Get the arm in the strike zone, keep the arm in the strike zone, and then start isolating it with stronger tools. So, the arm's here right now. And look, one of the things I think about now is how do I just isolate the shoulder, All right? So instead of like traditional methodology of putting the foot on the hip and then rotating, like the arms in the strike zone, my arms, no matter how strong they are, is going to generally be a little disadvantageous when it comes to this battle because, man, unless I'm much stronger than him, he's going to be able to pull back. So... I want to kind of bring some stronger tools into the fight. And that's why I'm switching to a high guard where I'm locked on the shoulder. So now when he pulls back, it's a little harder. Then, so I got the arm in the strike zone. I kept it. Like I'm keeping it there somewhat, right? By going over the shoulder, locking down, and then lifting my hips and putting a lot of weight on. So when he's had to wiggle and try to move, it's a little harder. And then now I have to get angle. So I, I chop down the shoulder coming across. All right, so now, look, I have angle. I have the arm isolated. He's still going to be trying to drive into me, throw the arm out, all that fun stuff. One thing I do is kind of help by pulling the shoulder in. So now when he tries to move, it's a little harder. And then that goes, it allows me to push his head away a little so this leg can go over the crown. And look, left hand wants to, left foot <laughs> wants to go not across the neck, but across the crown. So now when he tries to drive into me, stack me. It's harder. If I was here, he stacks me. Look, I'm out of position. I lose my strength. Here, he tries to stack me. It's a lot easier. Then I can fully isolate the arm. He tries to drive into me. He tries to move. And I slowly lift my hip. And as I lift my hip, the pressure on the arm just magnifies until he can't you know, respond in a way that stops his arm from getting broken. Other than that. All right? So let's go back through. Number one, of course, strike zone, elbow, center line, or cross center line. Objective two, keep them in the strike zone by isolating the arm and isolating the shoulder. Objective three, angle. Objective four, full isolation. So I have to bring my leg over, knees pinch. And then last objective is to apply the pressure by controlling the thumb so he can't wiggle and change the position of his elbow and then lift my hip boom to finish all right so look this is a super basic lesson hopefully um i want to put it in the framework of objectives why because depending on your attributes your methods of getting achieving those objectives can differ there's so many different ways to do the, this particular attack and if you get like caught in the weeds of like man do i have to have to do this exactly that way or exactly this way, it's, it can be hard to really learn. You know, Start off from like, hey, what do I have to achieve? And then say, what is a way to achieve that objective that works for me? All right? Hopefully that was helpful. Man, if you're in the lower area you know, of Maryland, feel free to come in and check us out. All right? Have a great day.